So, you want to mod Fallout 2? Well, do I have a guide for you? Ha ha ha. Okay, well, it's it's me, a uh, tutorial person, and today I'm going to show you how to mod Fallout 2 using the unofficial patch and the restoration project. I recommend you go to the official website and you download the Windows installer and the Windows installer. At first I tried manual and then my brain melted. So, you'll go to this page, downloads, and that's how you get it. So, let me uh, throw that away, and now go to your downloads. You'll see this. You won't have Nevada ENB. That's completely different. I'm, I'm benchmarking New Vegas ENBs. But the point being, you'll have the unofficial Fallout 2 patch and the restoration project. So, let's run this. So, double-click it, of course. Oh no, do you want to run this? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Welcome to the Fallout 2 unofficial patch setup wizard. This mod, this will install Fallout 2 unofficial patch 1.02.31 on your computer door. Press next. Oh no, patch information. This is an unofficial patch, which attempts to fix the issues. Do I need to install the, the uh, official patch? No. Can I use the official patch? Yes. Well, you shouldn't. Select so destination folder. Where should Fallout 2 unofficial patch be installed? So, setup will install Fallout 2 unofficial patch into the following folder. To continue, click next. If you would like to select a different folder, click browse. So I'm going to be daring, and I'm going to click browse, and then I'm going to go to where my uh, Fallout 2 is installed. So, C, x86, Steam, Steam Maps, Common, Fallout 2. And now we're going to click Next. The folder for Game Files x86 Steam Steam Maps Common Fallout 2 already exists. Would you like to install in that to that folder anyway? Sure. You are running. If you are running on Mac OS, you must choose the legacy version of the high res patch at the next screen, or you may not be able to play the game. If you're on Windows and know that you need to run an older version of the high-res patch, be sure to choose the legacy version. If you do not know, keep the pre-selected version. And if you do encounter graphical or UI problems, then reinstall with the legacy option selected. So, it's okay. Extra content. Run Fallout to a higher resolutions. Default is 640 by 480, which is awful. So, latest version recommended. I'm not using Legacy, I'm using the current version from Steam. So, I'll click Next. This is my destination folder, full installation, all that stuff. Install. And that zooms along, considering that uh, Fallout 2 is on an NVMe SSD. Uh, this is probably going to be fairly fast. So, now it's finishing up the installation. Any time now. There we go. Spoiler warning! The list of corrections. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spoilers. Spoilers. Uh oh. Uh oh. Completing the Russell quest but not accepting the reward no longer leaves the guard. Brahmin quest is incomplete. <sighs> Ruined. Finish. So now let's install the restoration project. Double click that. It'll give us another uh, prompt. <laughs> and this is your computer if you do it wrong. Uh, welcome to the Fallout 2 Restoration Project Setup Wizard. This will install Fallout 2 Restoration Project 2.3.3 on your computer Dora. It is recommended that you close all other applications because this is extremely demanding. Okay. And this is just the general info. Frequently asked questions. Do I need to install the official patch? No. Can I use the official patch or save from the unofficial patch saves? No. How do I know if the mod works? There is a small rock at the beginning of the game. The rock is found just outside the Temple of Trials behind Clint Eastwood. Looking at the rock should display some text and give the version of the mod you are running. So my recommendation is you use Snipping Tool, and you take a snippet of this, and then you minimize that, and you put it on another monitor, or you look at it so that when you run the game you remember to check this. So let's hit Next. And now we're going to do the same thing. 
we're going to navigate to where Fallout 2 is installed. Program files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 2, and then we're going, ooh, 406 megabytes. Hit next. The folder already exists. Do you want to install there? Yes. You are running on Mac, if, if you are running on Mac OS, this is the same as before. If you're on Windows, we recommend you use the normal version, not the legacy. If you have issues, use legacy instead, so hit OK. Oh boy, lots of stuff here. Core content, the expansion files, pretty big. Extra content, missing NPCs, required for non-US games but installed by default, and new graphics. Ooh. I want to see the new graphics. Oh, this is a lot of stuff. Party members change appearance when wearing armor. Yes. Finally. Oh, wow. Sulik, Vic, Cassie, and Myron are 170 megabytes. I didn't think those sprites were that large. Wow. Ooh, new animations. Yes. And miscellaneous animations. <laughs> Please choose the ammo mod you want applied. Yet another ammo mod. Fixes AP ammo and includes other ammo balances. Improves Mysterious Stranger. Wow, this is... Impressive. Oh wow, this is uh, quite a bit larger than the actual game itself. Well, we're going to hit next. Confirming that we want to install into Fallout 2. Hit install. And then you'll wait a moment for this to install. Now, while it's doing that, we may as well navigate to where Fallout 2 is on our computer. So, let me close this, and let's say we're in downloads right now. Click this PC, and then you will navigate to where Fallout 2 is. So in this case, C, x86, and then we're going to go to Steam, and then to Steam Apps common and then there's fallout 2 fallout 3 new vegas etc if i installed this into new vegas i have a feeling that my tale of two wastelands install would be very upset so i won't do that and uh, this is just about finished so going to fallout 2's file path we have all this stuff patch backup Whoa. How did it remember that? Oh wow, they added a whole bunch of new scripts. Wow. That's definitely new. And if you're ready to continue, hit next. Oh, look at all these cool location, lo locations, 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 looking there. So many locations. Wow. Hit next, and then hit finish. And, and once you load up the game, you'll be greeted with this. Here's our splash screen. We have Fallout 2 1.02.31, which is our unofficial patch, and the Restoration Project version 2.3.3, and S-Fall is version 3.3a, looks like. So, let's do a new game to verify. Let's just choose whatever. Uh, sure. Uh, we're going to be incredibly perceptive. Perfect. And the name is... Test. And the age is going to be exactly 33. So, now that we have this, And we are done. No spoilers. And we are now in the game. So, everything works fine. Remember Clint Eastwood? That rock? You are running Killapse Fallout 2 Restoration Project version 2.3.3. Thanks for installing. We have done it. Now you can go and save. Oh. 
Oh yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh, I, I, I love this already. Whoa. You get so many save slots. Oh, this is amazing. So yep, there it is. And this is my old corrupted save, who will be uh, redone soon. So let's just save and call it uh, test. And now let's load it to verify it works. And it works. So there we go. Hope this helped. Thank you for watching. If you have any uh, issues or comments or whatnot, leave them in the, the YouTube uh, whatever thing below. I have a Discord. I stream Fallout games. I am terrible at video games, so perfect. That's all.